Welcome! Many of you requested me to do a video on how to use the internal rotary encoder of LEGO Mindstorm Motors. Today I am going to explain just that. If you are interested to know how to drive LEGO Motors using only an Arduino, you can find that video up here. If you followed that video and built your own robot, you have probably noticed that one motor spins a little bit faster than the other, because they are not matched. Thus is not going perfectly straight. We can fix this by using their internal rotary encoders, but that's a topic for another video. Today I'm going to show you how the LEGO Motors rotary encoder works and how to use it. So, let's start by saying that there are many kinds of rotary encoders, but the one that we can find inside LEGO Mindstorm's motors consists of a gear with holes attached to the motor and two infrared beams, with two receivers on the other side of the wheel. It uses the same principle as your house automatic gate, which has in front of it a light beam that until you block it, the gate won't close. In our motor, we can find two beams, so we can count how many degrees the motor has turned by seeing how many times the infrared beams are being interrupted. And we can do this very accurately, with a precision of one degree. So, let's see how we can do that. We need a special cable that you can find in the video description, in order to connect the motor to Arduino. Plug one end to the motor and on the other end we can see six dupes point termination. Looking at the datasheet, we can find that the white and black cables are used to drive the motors. I've already explained that in my previous video. The red cable, unlike what you would imagine, is the ground connection. The green is the VCC, blue and yellow are the output signals for each beam. We connect the ground to the red cable and 5 volts to the green one. Then it's very important that we connect the yellow cable to an Arduino pin which can be set as a digital interrupt, in my case pin 2, and then blue cable to pin 6. Before start coding we must understand one thing, we are going to use the yellow signal to trigger an interrupt every time its signal changes, which means every time the first light beam gets blocked and every time it gets unblocked, we are going to compare it with the blue signal, which is a little bit offset from the yellow one, and then increase or decrease our degrees counter. Let's have a look at the two graphs of the signals, one on top of the other. With the motor spinning in one direction, we can notice that when the yellow signal changes its state, the blue signal always has the opposite state, but inverting the direction of the rotation, they always have the same state. Finally, let's start coding. If you haven't already, go install the Arduino IDE, link in the video description, connect your Arduino board, define your yellow and blue pins, and declare a volatile long variable called degrees, which will track how many degrees our motor has turned. Then in this setup initialize serial and yellow and blue pins as inputs. Give to degrees an initial value of 0, then define the interrupt by writing attach interrupt, digital pin to interrupt, yellow, then the name of a function that we will create later called count degrees and then write change to invoke the function every time the yellow pin state change. Over the setup function create a void function called count degrees which compares the value of the yellow and blue pins and if they are the same increments the degrees variable otherwise decrement it. Finally, in the loop function we can print the value of degrees when it changes. Select your Arduino port and upload the code. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye!